Well, since chemistry is all that matters, why should we study it? There are thousands and thousands of reasons we should study chemistry, but let's break it down into three general reasons. And the first general reason is basically to help explain, explain the world around us, because everything that happens around us involves chemistry in one way or another. The second may be because we're going to prepare for a career. So many careers entail or bring in chemistry into the processing of that job. And lastly, well, we just need to be informed because that would make us good citizens. So explaining this world around us, there's lots of the things that take place in our everyday life that involve chemistry. But what about when we want to bleach our genes? Why do we use bleach to bring our genes from that dark blue indigo color to the faded appearance that many people think is stylish? Or when we go to a nice Italian restaurant, instead of butter for our bread, they bring us a little oil and a little olive oil and a little uh, vinegar or a little flavored uh, oil. And why does the vinegar stay there in the middle of the oil? And how does that actually work? What is the, the reactions between the two fluids? Um, if you eat too much at that Italian restaurant, you may get an upset stomach, so you're going to go to the cabinet and bring out some Alka-Seltzer. So what exactly takes place when you do that plop, plop, fizz, fizz, and get that nice bubbly drink to settle your upset stomach? Or what about the shampoo you use? What does it mean to be pH balanced? What does that mean for the shampoo? What does that mean for your hair? And how do they make candy sweet yet sour? like Sour Patch Kids or Sour Patch Watermelon. So a lot of this takes place because of the fascinating world of chemistry. There aren't enough slides in this presentation to put the pictures of all of the careers that would involve chemistry. But to study chemistry, you would probably be studying for a handful of major careers, but thousands and thousands of other careers that might use chemistry in one way. So here we have an environmentalist studying the toxins or the chemical breakdown of the water, the purity of the water. Over here we've got a crime scene investigation team. We've got some analytical chemists working in a lab. Here we have a chemical engineer at a refinery plant. We've got a pharmacist down here in the lower left corner. And then we've got some uh, student nutritionists figuring out the uh, calorie content or the minerals and nutrients found in foods. So this is just an example of some of the careers out of thousands that would involve chemistry. There are going to be many times in your life that you're going to be asked to make decisions that involve some type of chemical knowledge. So sometimes it may be choices in a ballot. You know, do we build a, a water plant, a water cleansing plant in the town next door? Do we put solar panels above the parking lot of the local high school? Do we have recycling centers? What are the aspects of our lives that we need to understand some form of chemistry? Now, we're going to do a study in class of um, a city council that because of their lack of knowledge in chemistry made a major, major mistake. And you're going to do that case study as part of one of our assignments later in this section. So why study chemistry? Because everything involves chemistry. So chemistry, technology, and society. Research in modern chemistry can lead to technologies that aim to benefit the environment Consume, conserve and produce energy, improve human life, and expand our knowledge of the universe. So basically, encompassed in this is pretty much everything that involves us living here on the earth. It involves chemistry and the technologies generated to hopefully help and improve our society.